Alright everybody, so here we are back again. Sorry the content has been uh, lacking a bit, but you know, um, I take the winners pretty much off. Uh, and uh, this new venture with GZ Tackle Co. has uh, kept me very busy. But we are getting into the stage now where uh, I'm going to start getting the boat ready for springtime fishing. And we'll start dialing back in, getting ready to go fish again and get everything to dialed in and set up and ready to get out there. Um, I got some new, just got some new Veeam propellers. I'm pretty excited about. They're on their way here. And um, a couple other little things that we're doing and going a little bit more uh, gung-ho on the whole bait and switch fishing and, and switching some stuff around on the boat and making some changes and uh, yeah, hopefully have a good season here coming up and, and start putting some video together. But while we wait, um, I wanted to put a video together for you guys. And, um, you know, as, as the name stated, you know, the, un, the overlooked secret to catching big fish. And, uh, you know, um, I'm gonna let you in on it. <laughs> now, uh, look, obviously you gotta have really good tackle. You gotta have the right hook rigs. You gotta have the right, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff is super important, right? For, so when the opportunity arises, you're, you're, you know, you're taking advantage of that, right? Um, and then obviously you have to have knowledge. You have to, uh, you have to understand the currents. You have to understand this. I think that with the, the on, onset now, you know, and, and the, how good those omni sonars are, um, sadly, there's there's a little less uh, that you need to know about in terms of just like reading the water. Uh, you know, you look at the old timers; they could just kind of look at the ocean and, and ha you know have an idea of where they wanted to go fish. And I, I have a lot of respect for for that style. Um, for me, that was like my biggest draw towards marlin fishing. It was how difficult it was and how many years it took to just get the skill of like just reading the ocean and knowing where to go and hunt these animals. So. Not going to go down that tangent again. I think everybody knows my my thoughts and where uh, what I feel about you know those Omni sonars and the sad you know sad fact that I think it's you know kind of ruined what what I love so much. But still, still marlin fishing. We're still doing what we love, and uh, that's a whole nother story for another time. Anyhow, so you got to have your knowledge, right? Got to know what you're doing out there. Got to have an idea where the tides are, so you know where to be when the bite's going to happen bait, blah, 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 all these factors, right? But there's one thing that is overlooked a little bit, and um, I would say that some of the, um, the goats out there are very familiar with it. Some of the, some of the older guys, some of the best fishermen there have, have that feeling, whether they know it or not. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna tell you guys, and uh, yeah, I'll try not to get a little too woo-woo with it, and, uh, you know, you may, some of you may think, um, oh boy, Chris has lost his mind, but I firmly believe in this theory, firmly. And uh, if you don't, all good. Fast, you could fast forward through this and just watch the second half of the video, which is gonna be all Marlin action. But if you wanna learn something that I feel is, a, is, is somewhat of a game changer in a way, then, then listen on. Um, so I'll start off with saying, my original concept on it and what I, what I heard. So what is this secret, right? What is the secret to catching more fish, right? Um, so rewind way back, um, I had my boat in dry dock and I uh, was doing long days in the dry dock, uh, stressing out, trying to get the boat ready. And I just finished doing work on it and I was just sitting there kind of looking at the boat and getting ready to get my truck and drive home. And uh, down, you know, walking through the boatyard is uh, a uh, pretty, pretty well-known captain. Um, he's fished all over the world. Um, great guy, uh, very accomplished. Um, you know, was in Madeira back in the the early, you know, early days. He, you know, was with Bart Miller. Um, great great list of, of accomplishments this guy has had. Um, I'll leave the name out because maybe he doesn't want to be associated with this. Uh, but anyhow, um, 
so he came by and we started talking fishing and uh you know he'd always admire us. he's a big fan of like merits and ribaviches and things like that um you know and uh so he was a big fan of the boat and just kind of came and was talking to me and i was new and i hadn't met him so he was also just kind of introducing himself and we had some mutual friends he had a mutual friend that actually had worked for me and uh years back and and uh and then also um through bart we kind of had a little bit of a uh a, a knowing each other a friendship thing and then also um i think he had just kind of been watching the merit where where it was because it was kind of a cool thing when i had that merit in Samoa and was doing some some different things and um so anyhow he says to me you know we're starting to talk about fishing blah 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 and he's saying well you know you can have all the best stuff on there but really that's not the biggest thing he said you know it's a feeling and uh and i was like yeah okay he goes yeah you know once you once you figure that feeling out that's when you really are starting to catch fish you know and um kind of talked to me a little about the, the mindset right you know and at that time um i think i was probably a little bit uh, way less spiritual, way less spiritual than I am today. Uh, but I was a little bit spiritual, but still I kind of thought like, yeah, that's kind of a weird thing, you know, whatever. And drove home, didn't think much about it. And, and, uh, through years I, I, uh, or through seasons or years, I started to think a little more like, okay, why is it that certain people just consistently, you know, besides the knowledge factor, they seem to just be fishy people. You know them out there. I'm sure you know. Hopefully you're one of them, right? There's just fishy people. Maybe it's a client of yours. Every time he's on the boat, you guys catch fish. And it's not, he's doing anything different with your spread. You're not fishing any bit different. But there's just fishy people. There's just fishy dudes. You know, I've seen there's a couple guys in this harbor that when like the chips are down, they're getting piled on at some point by a nice fish, right? Obviously there's a lot of skill and knowledge and stuff involved, but there is a... a an unspoken factor, and that is the secret we're talking about here. So, anyhow, after that conversation, I started analyzing things a little more, and I'm always, a lot of time, Kona, you, you sometimes you go a lot of long distances between bites, and uh, so you have a lot of time to think about things. And, uh, you know, anyhow, start thinking about it. And the secret really is, there's a mindset to it. There's a mindset to catching more fish or bigger fish or whatever it is that you're actually like manifesting that you want to have accomplished, right? And this goes for life as well. As I, you know, I'm at a stage in my life now where I am a firm believer in like, you know, manifesting and setting intentions and, and um, it's, 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 I mean, again, I don't want to sound too woo woo here, but you know, it's definitely changed my life, um, 100%. You, you, your, your perceptions, your intentions, what you set, where your vision is, what you're, what you're consuming in terms of like what you're looking at on your phone, what you're hearing from people, you know, people that gossip and people that are just constantly being negative, complaining, this, that. Get away from those types. You, no, <laughs> you're, there's no good, there's no good direction, right? You don't want to be involved in that thing. There's a mindset, right? And, and in life, it's it's very apparent. And and it, and the wealthiest people out there, a majority of them know this as well, right? I think there's, there's actually a uh, documentary called The Secret, right? Which is about that, having that mindset. Very very successful people all throughout time have have known this secret, right? This setting intentions, setting visions, having manifesting things you know, having, uh, you know, seeing it, feeling it, right? You know, if, 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 if you can, if you can see it in your head, you can, you know, have it in the palm of your hand, right? So obviously you can't just think of, okay, I want a Ferrari every morning and just get up and say, I want a Ferrari, I want a Ferrari and expect one to just pull up in your driveway. No, but if you're thinking it and thinking it, things will start to happen. And if you're paying attention and you're willing to work and you're willing to, you know, um, jump on opportunities, you would be surprised how quickly you could have that that car or whatever, right? You know, I'm just using that. That's a silly thing, but but same thing with fishing, right? If you're thinking about, man, I want to raise a thousand pounder, man, owner, and you just every day and you're just thinking about it and you're feeling it and you're and you're and you're um, visioning yourself at the gantry, weighing this thing, you know, or I want a 700 pounder, 800, whatever, right? And you're visioning just a big fish, big blue marlin, big marlin. And then all of a sudden this thing shows up. Well, if your tackle's not ready and you know, like it's the same thing in life. Like you can, you can manifest, you can set intentions, but if you're not ready to jump on the opportunities that, you know, the universe that life's going to start throwing at you, 
well, it means nothing. So the same thing in fishing. If your tackle's not up to gear, if you're not nowhere to go, if your boat's not good, if you're not in the right position, if your crew isn't skilled enough, if you're not skilled on the wheel, well, those are just gonna be wasted opportunities, right? It's gonna be a story of, oh yeah, there she was, and you know, blah, 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 blah. So, that is, uh, that is the thing, really, I think is, is there is a mindset. There's a mindset set, and I think that, you know, there's people out there that are extremely fishy fishermen and are really good, and they don't really even know so much that it is a mindset, that that's doing it, but they've done so well, and they've done so good over so many years that it's a confidence. And through that confidence, they bring that ease into it. And when you're like, when you're trying to force something and you really want a bite, and you really, it's a lot harder to get when it's when there's ease and grace to it, and you have confidence that it will happen, and you're you're confident and you're relaxed and you're in the zone, right? Um, you know, Marlon Parker's a guy that I, I see that happen with him all the time on the Marlon Magic, all the time. He could be last day of the tournament, he hasn't seen, you know, hasn't had a bite or something or whatever, but but he's confident. He's got his big fish spots. He knows it's happened to him before. He's confident it will happen. He's confident. And, and whether he has that same vision of manifesting bites and doing that and thinking that way, I don't know. But I do know that I'm sure with the confidence that he has, because he's done it so many times, that that makes him, you know, and, and the, the skill that he knows, I'm gonna be in this spot at this time and I'm confident there's gonna be one in here. I'm not gonna hesitate in it. And sure enough, boom. <sighs> You know, and I think that confidence and the mindset, you know, obviously, like I keep saying, it's you gotta have your skill, you gotta put your time, you gotta have all this other stuff. But if you don't have that second part, having that mindset or having that confidence or knowing what you're what you're believing in there, you know, well, you're only gonna go so far, right? If you're able to just kind of do your thing and have your confidence, and then you know, you're gonna fail, but then you're gonna succeed. When you start succeeding, then you start getting that confidence. But Going down, I'm going down a whole rabbit hole, and you could go down an extreme rabbit hole with this whole thing. You know, you know, talk about how certain boats have certain energy to them or a certain vibration to them, right? Um, but what you really don't want to miss out on is the frequency that us as humans and the people on the boat that we're putting out. It's super important. It's super important that you vision what your day is when you, before you go to that boat, you set your intention. You, you see it, you feel it, you think about it, and and then, you know, you, you put that out there, and you continually put that out there, and you believe it, that it's gonna happen. You don't just say, oh, yeah, right, you know, no, 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 you believe it's gonna happen. You feel it, you know, you don't have to be pompous about it and arrogant, but you believe it, right? And, um, you know, it's tough with charter fishing because you just don't know what you're gonna get on your boat every day, you know, I get, unfortunately, I've had a lot of negative people before. Um, I've had really good, positive people, really negative people. And sometimes you get those negative people and you still get piled on, right? But a lot of times you don't have good vibes, you're not having a good fishing. So for charter clients out there, if you're going to fish on a boat, you're going to fish with somebody, bring some good energy with you in the morning, okay? Don't get on the boat thinking like, man, we better catch something today. No, 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 just get on there with a good, good intention. Just keep seeing it manifested in there. That's the energy you wanna bring. Um, like I was saying before, you know, we all have just certain clients that we fish with. There's certain people when they're on the boat, you just have this incredible success. And I, I think there's a lot to be said about becoming, becoming in the moment with that manifestation of what you're looking for, being comfortable, having that feeling, having the confidence. And when that's expressed out there, you start you start really getting it. Um, you know, fishing can be really streaky. You can see certain guys will just go on a run. And I know I've been on, you know, I've had some runs where we were just, just getting piled on by big ones. And I'd get up in the morning and go down to the boat and just have this feeling that I knew it was gonna happen. And you get into this feeling I cannot explain, but it's just there. And you just have that feeling and, 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 it, and it just keeps perpetuating and you just keep succeeding and you keep getting bit and you keep getting bit. Generally, I found that something happens that ends up disrupting that. You know, maybe a fish dies on us and I gotta, you know, deal with it or bring it in the boat or, or we lose one or uh, you know something happens or uh, you know something right and, and and a vibe changes and things change and there's momentum changing so look it's a really difficult thing to fully come come into you know understanding but I think that this is something that you have to really consider you know, when you're in terms of fishing I believe I firmly believe this is one of the important things is that mindset is visioning what you're gonna have out there, setting the manifestation of like, 
big fish or a lot of fish or whatever you want to see and, and, and bringing that energy with you and you know surrounding yourself with positive people you know I, I don't want to fish with negative people anymore I don't want to sit on my boat or between bites and listen to people gossip or say things about other people in the harbor or whatever like you don't I don't want that you don't want that okay you want to go out there and 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 you know just like you would live your life you know um, set your intentions manifest and then be willing to work hard and have everything ready and in place so when those opportunities arise you can see that opportunity and sometimes they're like little whispers you know you're out there on the ocean and and um, you know there's there's whispers and secrets that the ocean will tell you when you're out there fishing if you listen and there's like little whispers and 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 good captains and do, doing it long enough you 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 don't just see it and think oh yeah that was weird no you you start to kind of mentally log it into your head of okay I saw that okay I saw that okay so what is the ocean telling me today right and those little whispers are opportunities right same thing in life like a phone call from somebody with a business opportunity or you meet somebody while you're standing in line to get a coffee um, these are all very correlated with the you know how fishing is good being good at fishing same thing being good at life you know getting opportunities accomplishing things these are all kind of in the same thing so but there's truth to it I I'm a firm believer it's my opinion but um, the mindset is huge and uh, you know get yourself into that that setup whether you have whatever your morning routine is before you go fish or whatever it is or you know the days when you're not fishing whatever it is get into a good routine and um, and, and and just experiment with it see what happens so let me know if it helps try it just try it what does it hurt right be positive for one week on the water have the confidence listen to the ocean when you're out there right see what happens just try it try it seven days and comment let me know what you saw let me know how it worked so what I wanted to do here was create a little like manifest hype video of just like fish jumping you know bites blue marlin on the side of the boat like just action 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 with some music and you can sit there watch it in the morning when you're having your coffee before you go fish watch it at night before you go to bed whatever right it can help you visualize um, you know help you with that visualization process so this hype video I made um, which is gonna start here shortly is just for you to sit there and watch and get those images in your head and manifest and go catch like get out there and go do it you know um, so I'm gonna make the hype video is gonna be attached here as soon as I stop talking and running my mouth here and it'll go right into it. And then I'm also gonna post another YouTube video that's just the hype video. So if you wanna watch it another time and not listen to this whole babble first part and have to skip through it, you can just go right to the hype video. It'll just be called, um, not sure what it'll be titled out, but it'll probably be like manifest, manifest Your Fish hype video or something like that. Share it with people, please. So anyhow, enough with my, with my talking, but the secret to catch in more fish that don't people don't talk about is the mindset. Enjoy the hype video. Manifest those big blue marlin. Let me know how you guys do, and uh, I'll see you out there on the water. My mind run deep in my thoughts when I didn't have it. Sleeping on the floor, wishing it was a mattress. Now I'm in Hollywood with actors and actresses where everybody bougie, latest trends and fashions. I'd rather keep it a buck, a hundred if you ask me. I was trying to pay the bills just like last week. I was trying to sell a deal just like last week. Trying to run plays and run it up like the math leaks. It's in my DNA to have hope and make a way. Good energy will hit that MJ fade away. Miss me with the hate and now, nah, bruh, not today. Stayed in my lane, did complain, this is meant for me. Whatever come my way, this is meant for me. Trying to share my story, this is history. Now it's not a mystery. Stop with all that hating, dog. Man, this is meant for me. Whatever come my way, this is meant for me. Trying to share my story, this is history. Now it's not a mystery. Stop with all that hating, dog. Man, this is meant for me. I'ma let by guns be by guns. I'ma keep rapping till I turn into an icon. Back against the ropes, kept swinging like Tyson. Back in the booth, now I'm snapping as a python. Had to rise up to the horizon. Use my words to connect, no Verizon. 
speak the truth I'ma show you chase your dreams I'm living proof Not the industry type But I'ma grind from the roots Ooh, see my family struggle from the start I'ma just change the trajectory Put some respect to me Plant the seeds daily Foundation, that's the recipe If you walked in my shoes Then you knew this meant for me Whatever come my way This was meant for me Try to share my story This is history Now that's not a mystery Stop with all the hating dog Man, this is meant for me Whatever come my way, this was meant for me. Trying to share my story, this is history. Now it's not a mystery. Stop it out of hating, dog. Man, this is meant for me. Pull my rage into my screen. Cause see of my PS3. Your lady, she taught me how to control hate. Sweet the lights, we damn video game. Mario Kart We will wait back when